Australian adventurer Dick Smith says Papua New Guinea is no different to any other country when it comes to travellers' alerts. He says alerts are bureaucratic excuses. If travellers take sensible risks and put a smile on their faces, they should have no problems. A keen aviator, Mr Smith has flown around the world five times and is in PNG to fly to Millen Bay, New Island and the Highlands. He spoke to John Eggins in Port Moresby today. Well, it's an adventure trip. 30 years ago, I flew my helicopter solo around the world. I was 39 years of age. I'm now 69. I said to my wife, I've got to go on an adventure. So this time I came up to Cape York and instead of heading through Indonesia and back to America around the world, I decided to turn right, come to Port Moresby. I'm now going to spend about a week flying around New Guinea because I love it. Yeah, a lot of the Australians have a different perception, or many of them have a different perception of PNG and no goes on. You came. Well, I don't think, look, it's amazing. If you go on just about the website for just about any country, they warn you about going there because bureaucrats are scared <laughs> that if someone goes there, it might even be England or America, and they get mugged, that then the bureaucrat will be blamed. So there's all these warnings. Yeah. And to me, I think travelling anywhere in the world, there's risk involved. And you can uh, go walking in Sydney at night and people get attacked. So it can happen anywhere. I have a feeling if you're careful and sensible and have a smile on your face that you'll be treated well everywhere in the world. Has there been a time in your world trips that you were threatened uh, or your life was at risk? Isn't it interesting? I've been to 200 countries in the world. There's 300 of them. I've flown five times around the world. I've also driven around the world, including right across Mongolia and Kazakhstan, and I've never had a problem. In all of those trips, I've always been treated... I've never felt in a fear of my life. I've even flown across southern Sudan at the time of their civil war, and I've never had a problem. And you say uh, the recipe there is that smile. Yeah, have a smile on and your you've face. Got one, haven't you? Yeah, I yeah. always have a smile and be relaxed. I mean, things take time, sort of thing. And uh, but people are very friendly. Also, I couldn't believe people know me here. When I landed at uh, Daru there to was get that Dick Smith Electronics here before. Is that you know? what? It was? He was yeah. a dealer because I landed at Daru and the refueler said, "Oh, Dick Smith, Dick Smith Electronics." <laughs> so yeah. it's amazing. I mean, I sold Dick Smith Electronics 25 years ago, uh -huh. but I'm still known as that Dick Smith because I started it. Why do you take this? Adventure trips. What I, is in you that, what, what do you... It's my drug. My drug is <laughs> extending the boundaries and taking, I call it responsible risk taking. And I need, some people their drug is uh, getting onto alcohol and drinking alcohol. My drug is risking, taking a, a sensible risk as far as I'm concerned. I'm flying a single engine helicopter. I've got a very good life jacket. I've got a survival beacon, so I'm sensibly equipped. But it's getting out there and seeing things that other people haven't seen. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you very much.